but we're at the end of the session. Um, uh, but, you know, um, what leaders do is they, they receive the information they have and they act on it. And, uh, you know, essentially that's what I have done. I spoke with Mr. Paris last night and he um, uh, asked me to accept his resignation. I, I did. This morning we appointed um, uh, Graham Steele as the Minister Responsible for Economic De and Rural Development and Tourism. We appointed uh, Maureen McDonald uh, to um, take up the duties of the uh, African Nova Scotia Affairs uh, uh, Department. And, uh, you know, we're going to deal with this uh, as um, we uh, should on a responsible matter. You know, I've been here in the House the uh, last uh, few weeks, and I've watched while matters have come up with the, with the Leader of the Opposition, with his members, and um, they've just shoved them off to the side and, and haven't really deal, dealt with them. Um, when things come up in our caucus, I believe my responsibility is to deal with them head on and directly. That's what I've done in this case. Uh, um, it's, uh, it is, uh, I think, necessary that we demand from all of our members the, you know, the utmost in propriety and, um, and we will uh, allow the, the uh, proceedings, whatever they're going to be, take place and uh, then we'll reevaluate things after that. Did, so he, have, did, did like? he have any choice but to resign and if he did not resign would you have asked for it? Well, I'm not going to speculate about things that might or may not have happened. Uh, it simply did and, you know, I've known Percy for a long time, and he's an honorable guy, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, I understand, you know, his comments last night to you were pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know what happened, I don't know what the, what the matter between the two members was all about, uh, and it's not, in that sense, it's not for me to determine. All I know is that an incident happened. Um, you know, I spoke to Mr. Paris, he, he offered his uh, resignation, uh, I accepted it and took, I think, what is the appropriate course. Are you suspended no, from caucus? No, uh, you, you know, the, the matters are, are now going to go into a different arena, a different forum, and, and um, you know, we'll let that uh, be dealt with. When Ernie Page was uh, facing charges, he was suspended from caucus. Why, why, Com would, why couldn't you do just, that? Just uh, a different matter, and I, I don't uh, see any reason to have him suspended from caucus. How is it what? different? What? How is it different? Well, I don't know if it's different or not. I don't remember the exact facts of uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Fage's, uh, well, I get, now that you're asking me, I guess I do remember, but, uh, but, I, uh, uh, but I don't think they're equivalent. How? Well, I, I, I think the fact situations are completely different, and uh, I don't see any reason uh, for him to be suspended from caucus. You have two MLAs who were charged with a crime, one who was tossed from caucus, one who isn't. This is uh, a matter that is... We're not underplaying the seriousness of it, but at the same time, we're not going to over-exaggerate uh, it either. We're going to let the course of events take, its, uh, take, take place. Um, he's not going to be suspended from our caucus. Uh, he, I think, did the right thing. He resigned uh, his position in the Executive Council, uh, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll allow that, those matters to, to resolve themselves. But are you a lot of nomination to stand? Uh, yes, I, I would see no reason not to do that. You seem to be suggesting this is not as serious as a uh, previous not, case. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm simply saying that um, the, you know, we took, I, I believe the appropriate action has been taken. Uh, it is the totality of the action that will be taken pending the outcome of any proceedings. Uh, and uh, we'll... We'll uh, deal with whatever those happen to be at that time. Well, An MLA is an understanding. What kind of a message does this send when we see our political leaders act in this fashion? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're getting at. What's, what, how, what do you think Nova Scotians think are taking from this? Two 65 year old men fighting in a bathroom. Well, I, I can't really speak to that. I, like I said, I. I, uh, I uh, received the information that I have, uh, I acted on it uh, in a way that I think is appropriate. Um, uh, you know, there's no question that, uh, you know, what we expect from people, of course, is the um, highest levels of decorum and, uh, 
uh, and obviously that didn't happen. No so. doubt you asked Mr. Paris what precipitated it. What precipitated No, I, I did not. Um, uh, my conversation with Mr. Paris uh, last night was, was actually quite brief. Uh, and, um, uh, and in any event, uh, those matters are before the courts, and uh, as I understand it, and uh, I don't intend to comment on them. So why didn't you ask him? Because our conversation was very short. Uh, he was, at that time, when I spoke to him, uh, as I, uh, he was actually at the police station. Uh, so he had other things that he was doing. So you're not curious as to what precipitated this? Um, it's, uh, it would seem a natural question yeah. if a member tells me... It's not that me, I'm not curious. I suppose I'm curious like everyone else is curious, but I haven't had any further chance to speak with him about this since that time. Uh, Mr. I, I can tell you what my experience with Mr. Paris is, is that he has always been a straightforward, um, a, a man of... of remarkable qualities. Uh, I don't understand the circumstances uh, around why this happened. I, I have no explanation for it. It's not for me to explain. Uh, I understand he spoke with you at some point in time last night. Um, uh, but at this point, this is moving into some other, uh, you know, some other form, and, and he'll make whatever explanation he has to make at that time. If you didn't ask him what happened or what led to this, on what did you draw to uh, reach a conclusion that he should no longer be in your cabinet? He offered me his resignation, uh, understanding that these matters were going to be going forward, and I accepted. Just the fact that he was charged was enough to disqualify him. I, I don't want to make blanket statements, but I mean, obviously, these, you know, we take these matters very seriously, as we should, and, and, uh, and um, this, was a, this was a reasonable, uh, reasonable step, a reasonable request for him to make, and, and a reasonable thing for me to do to accept it. If it was enough to bump him out of cabinet, why wasn't it enough to bump him out of your caucus? Um, uh, first of all, he requested that I accept his resignation, which I did. Um, uh, I don't, uh, we will allow the other matters to uh, unfold, uh, but I can say to you that we have always had complete confidence in his work, uh, whether that is in cabinet or in his uh, constituency. Uh, it has been his representation of the people are not in question. Could you explain uh, bringing Mr. Steele back into cabinet? Uh, well, I spoke with Graham uh, last night. Um, he understood the circumstances. Uh, he um, w was uh, willing to uh, take on the uh, on the duties. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's a uh, person that I have great respect for, and uh, a guy who I have uh, worked with uh, in executive council in the past. So he has a depth of knowledge on many of the things that, of course would uh, happen in economic development. These, uh, the Department of Finance, Department of Economic De Development, you know, very much uh, work uh, uh, on uh, similar issues. And is that why you didn't go to the back bench? Uh, I, I think what I want my, uh, all of my members to do at this point in time is focus on the work they're doing in their constituencies. Um, they, they need to understand, as we all do, that ultimately the people we, that, that we answer to are the, are the people in their constituency. So I don't want to take away from that at this point. I, I, I think we've set the, the, the question of executive uh, council responsibilities, uh, and we want them to, uh, them to carry those out. Everyone else should be on with their, with their jobs. Has anything that's 